yours truly just coming back at you once again for three. You may hear a YouTuber in the background, so don't be um, don't be alarmed. Uh, you may hear a YouTuber just doing a live stream right at the moment. So here I am again with another YouTube uh, video. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a username uh, on this uh, on this on my channel. Uh, I won't uh, I won't take his picture or anything. I'll just say his username. So uh, I just want to say to you guys, I hope you guys are doing okay today. This is Thursday, uh, August the 11th. Uh, Thursday, August 11th. So we are in the year 2022. And the current time, as everybody wants to say, um, it's about 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, that's PM. Eastern Standard Time. That's right, folks. Uh, your, your time zones. And uh, at the moment, current, uh, the current time is at 9 o'clock. We are now doing a podcast. I guess a podcast. At 9 o'clock at uh, Eastern Standard Time, at p.m., not the a.m. in the morning. Uh, we're doing a, uh, a story about this YouTuber. He goes by the name of, uh, well, you probably have seen it on the subtitle on the top screen. Uh, I'll, I'll put his username, his user YouTube channel name, uh, up in the top right-hand corner. And uh, you'll see it there. And... Uh, You'll see what I'm talking about when I uh, when I put this when I post it up to my YouTube channel, and uh, a lot of you will see it publicly, publicly. That's public consumption. Uh, public is allowed to view my videos. That's that's what I send it to public. I don't send it to private. Private means just what anybody I can send it to. There's one individual or a few individuals, uh, and they can see my videos. So the private setting would be a few individuals, not a whole bunch of them in the world. Uh, just a few individuals will see my video only. That means only they can see the videos. And uh, for I'm going to put it to private. Say that to a uh, public set. So. Well, I'm going to set the uh, settings to public and I may set it to private. That means I may set send it to a few people who are going to see my video and the rest of them don't. So, that's what it's going to be like. So now I'm just going to be like that. I'm going to give a shout out to my YouTubers out there. They know who they are. I'm going to give a shout out on this YouTuber. I won't mention here my audio. I'll put it on the subtitle on the top of the title. And uh, you'll, you'll know what YouTuber I'm talking about. Thank you. 
and uh, he does live streams for a living. Every single day, every single day, he does live streaming. So. I'll put his username, his user, YouTube name, and you guys will find out what he is, okay? You guys will find out his YouTube channel. And, uh, and he does live streams every single day uh, with the split screens, with split screens. And um, so there you go. One other thing, one thing I almost forgot to tell you guys. Maybe you and John has played the uh, song called Twist of Fate. Uh, the guy who produced that song with Maybe you and John was uh, David Foster. You may have heard about his producing. Uh, David Foster is, used to be a, uh, a music producer in the early 80s and 90s. Uh, he uh, produced the many singers out there, the top singers out there, Including Brands, uh, uh, Anne Marie, ever heard of a singer called Anne Marie as well? A few other ones. Uh, but also, Lady Beat and John as well. Uh, so, David Foster may have heard that name before. He's a music producer, and he produced a song. For, called Twist of Fate, you may have heard that film, uh, or two of a kind. The song is called Twist of Fate. That's Living in Sean's song. And uh, the, the uh, movie is called Two of a Kind, with Living in John and John DeVolta in the film. Way back in 83 or 84. Um, way, way, way long time ago. Uh, they both did a film. This is not the first time they, they both did a film. Not the first time, just so you know to the people. Uh, the movie that you guys been talked about this week was Grease. They, they were also in that movie Grease and the Two of a Kind film, as far as I know. And as uh, far as uh, John Travolta and Lady Lou John is concerned. Uh, she was an activist. She was an activist, if you know what I mean. Uh, she was an activist for many, many things in the world, including cannabis. You might have heard about that drug, cannabis. Uh, it's a drug, it's a health drug called cannabis. Uh, it's a recreation drug, basically. And uh, she was so into that sort of thing. She's, uh, she's also a vegetarian before she passed away. She was a vegetarian. Uh, she did have a daughter. Her siblings was one daughter. And uh, I saw it in an interview at Entertainment Tonight. I saw it there. And she did have a daughter. Uh, Living you, John did have a daughter, one of her siblings. Um, so I saw what she looks like. She doesn't look like anything like Living you, John, just so you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, she was uh, she was interviewed in one of the TV uh, uh, TV channels uh, for a little bit there. Uh, the camera pan over to the daughter, the, uh, the daughter of Living you, John. Uh, so yeah, we got her face, what she looks like, but she doesn't look like anything like Living you, John at all. Um, at the, when they did, when they conducted the interview, um, it was on a big TV station. Um, so they fo mainly focused on living in jail, but they had a daughter there. Uh, in the background, they had a drum set, a big huge drum set back there. And they interviewed the daughter of living in jail. But she doesn't look like anything like living in jail uh, when I saw it. Um, but yeah, that was, I was living in the street. Siblings. One daughter, uh, she, uh, her family. So one daughter, they inherited, as far as I know about the information. Uh, so yeah, the daughter doesn't look like anything like living in a job, just so you know. You're wondering about the industry. Uh, she I get into music just like her mother, Lady John. 
The same way uh, the Elvis daughter went into. She, she went into the music industry and then, you know, then failed, basically failed, basically. And, uh, uh, yeah, so the Elvis daughter is still. Around, you know, she was. She once. She once married. Uh, she married into Michael Jackson. You know, the big singer of the world. Um, and uh, so yeah, she. Uh, uh, Elvis's daughter. Jackson, the, the singer of the pop, the king of pop around the world. And, uh, uh, yeah, so there you go. There's the new information. I know this because of long, long time watching these TV programs and seeing the, the entertainment tonight. And, uh, yeah, so Lily D. John did have a, a, a sibling. A daughter, basically. And she, not, she doesn't look like anything like her, like her mom, you know, living in the job, kind of thing. Uh, so, she was, uh, like, a camera pen over to her on the daughter. Uh, so, for a few minutes, for a very few minutes. Uh, so, yeah. So there you go, folks. Now you know. One other thing I'm going to say. Rest in peace, almost. I forgot to tell you. Rest in peace, moving in, John, from me. To you. Rest in peace. John DeVolta said his thing. Uh, about living in John De For a long, long time, for a long, long time, from the films all the way up to the current day. Uh, so, and when they met, when they always meet John, they meet John Devolta, the actor John Devolta. And uh, uh, for, I haven't followed too much about John Devolta as of late, as an actor. Um, I know he uh, used to do aviation, which is airplane stuff. Uh, he used to fly airplanes. Uh, I know what he looks like in, in terms of an actor. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, and this is all true facts, true facts. John DeVolta is an aviator. I guess it's called aviator as airplanes, you know, fly around with airplanes. Uh, but not, not like uh, passenger airplanes, but just regular airplanes, like, uh, like a one individual flying around with it. So yeah, he was an aviator. Um, I guess it's called like that. I forget the special name for it. But but yeah, John Travolta, he's out there. I don't know how old he is, uh, what age he's at at his career. Uh, but yeah, John Travolta is doing his thing as much as he... He just commented on the passing of Living New John just recently, like as a few days ago. And uh, yeah, I, every, every, uh, when I first heard Living New John pass away, I knew... Uh, John Travolta is going to comment on that, on on her passing, uh, and he did, he did, uh, did on a Twitter feed or an Instagram, and I was very, I was very happy to see that. Uh, so yeah, and I just want to say to John Travolta, uh, hang in there, and uh, I think John Travolta is married too as well. I don't know if he is, but I don't know the status of him uh, very much, but. Uh, I want to say to John Travolta, if where we are in this world, we're, uh, we're going uh, to 
check the Wikipedia and don't do what we're going to check to see what kind of siblings you have in, in your family. And uh, he's an actor. He was in Saturday Night Live Fever, you know, the uh, Saturday Night Fever. It's a disco kind of film. Uh, and uh, John DeVolta was in there. He was in many films, many films, up to the current day. Uh, the one that I, I have him on my disc, I forget what it's called, but he used to be in a film where he was in these the subway trains, the New York, New York subway trains. And uh, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good film, but he filmed, they filmed it in a New York city, subway area. And uh, that's where they filmed it. So there you go, folks. This is a little information for you guys. Oh, by the way, when I, when I did this, I just want to say to you guys, hope your day's been great. And hit that like button. And uh, hit that like button. You can share my videos on YouTube if you want. They're public videos. They're public consumption videos. And, uh, and yeah, share the videos. Share the wealth. Share the videos. And uh, I just want to give a shout out and hit that subscribe button for my YouTube channel. I'm describing to new YouTubers out there on their YouTube channels, uh, no matter who they are, what kind of content they put out on their channels. I'll be subscribing to their channels and they'll be seen on their notifications. And uh, yeah, they'll be seen on their notifications from me, my channel, my YouTube channel. So, so there you go, guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, rest in peace, Living New John, for everybody around the world. Living New John, rest in peace. I hope somebody will do a, uh, uh, a ghost box session, or they call it an uh, EVP session. Uh, a ghost box session is uh, to what had happened to her passing, the Living New John. And, uh, and we'll communicate to Living New John in the afterlife uh, in the next few weeks or a few months. And uh, through a ghost box or, a, a, you know, some communication device, you know, as they like to say, communication device. And uh, we'll, 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 we'll communicate to Living New John in the afterlife, in the afterlife. She's passed away now, but we'll communicate to her about a year from now. And we'll do a YouTube video about it. Um, I hope somebody will do it for me, then I can record it for your viewers out there. And, uh... Try to communicate to uh, Living New John in the afterlife. And uh, usually you can do that with individuals out there. All you need is a special device to do it with. And uh, you might not get the right answers about it. So there you go, folks. Uh, Living New John, rest in peace. I just played your song a few minutes ago called uh, Twist of Fate. It's called Twist of Fate Song. And uh, it was around uh, 83, 83, 1983, that song came out. And the producer he produced it with uh, was uh, David uh, Foster. You may have heard about his name. Uh, David Foster, he used to be a Canadian producer uh, who uh, produced uh, many artists, including Living in John. And uh, the song was called, go check it in your YouTube channel, it's called uh, Twist of Fate. The song title is called Twist of Fate. Just type, just put it in the uh, search engines. And, and it's your own song out there. This was, uh, this video was done in 83, 1983, uh, around the time when the film came out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it was very interesting, and very interesting, along with John DeVolta. It was a very interesting film, I thought, when I was, uh, watching this film. It was a very interesting film, right to the bitter end. Uh, it was a good film, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what had happened in the film, but you guys will have to see it yourself. But it's a good film. It was, uh, remember, this is 1983. This was when uh, everybody went to the theaters, singing shows. So, John Tavolta, wherever you are in this room, I uh, hope you're doing okay as an actor and an aviator. I guess you call it aviator. It's a one plane, uh, it's called one plane uh, flying around. Like, you have to do long hours to do, fly an airplane. Uh, but yeah, John Tavolta, I've heard about of his career. And he's an aviator, I guess you call him. But yeah, he, fly, he doesn't fly commercial airplanes like they take people around. Just one plane, plane kind of thing. Uh, so yeah. So there you go. Um, rest in peace, Living New John. We'll see you uh, when I pass away. My, in my lifetime, I'll see you when I pass away. And uh, yeah, rest in peace, Living New John. Oh, one other thing before I go about the, uh, the raid about. Uh, about Donald 
except for Murder Rumble. It's for the uh, January 6th hearings, by the way, just in case you're wondering. That's why they did the raid on Monday, because they want to get more information about the January 6th hearings. I'm not, I, I bet you money, I was saying this today, I bet you money that's why they did that. Because they raided the Marble Rock because of the January 6th hearings. Uh, because of that incident. And uh, that's why... That's why they raided uh, Donald Trump's Marble Rock on his residency. Um, they did it to, um, uh, as one of Americans would know, you have to do it with a warrant. You have to do it through a warrant. You know, a judge signs off on it kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, they went in there and they got a few boxes. They get a few boxes. They were there to get a few boxes and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's what they did. So, don't, no worries for uh, people out there. I bet you money it's for the January 6th hearings. That's why they went down there. So, anyway. So there you go, folks. I'll stop talking now. But yeah, rest in peace, Lemon and John. From me to everybody around the world, rest in peace, Lemon and John. One of these days, I'll do a communication in the afterlife for you. And hopefully, hopefully, sooner rather than later, as people would say. So there you go, folks. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Until then, ciao.